Good day and welcome to the Year in Review 2019 with the UWI Open Campus. My name is Cleveland Sam and with me is none other than the Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of the UWI Open Campus, Dr. Luz Longsworth. Um, Dr. Longsworth, welcome to the Year in Review. Oh, thank you. And 2019 flew by very quickly, oh, and yes. here we are in December. Mm -hmm. But from the looks of things, the UWI Open Campus had a very busy but productive year. Yes. So let's jump right into March. Oh, yes, March. <laughs> it was all about the Turks and Caicos Islands. Absolutely. In March, we had a very significant occurrence. Not only did we host um, the first open campus council meeting in the Turks and Caicos right. Islands, but we also relaunched our site in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Yeah. And we had a magnificent weekend yes. of celebration um, with our vice chancellor, the university registrar, Bursa, and the senior members of the open campus there to, to really celebrate this return to the Turks and Caicos Islands. And the government was also very happy, they were very present as well. The government was a key partner yeah. in this launch and in fact we, we are very pleased that they have put their faith and trust in the open campus to, to lead their own education reform and revolution in the Turks and Caicos. And it was also followed by the distinguished lecture, lecture by Sir Hillary. Yeah. And that was um, very well attended. So the University of the West Indies and the Open Campus in particular were on show in the Turks and Caicos. And not just in the Turks and Caicos. Yes. Let us remember that all of these events were streamed live, live across the region. So yes. colleagues across the region were able to share with us in that joyful moment. Also in March, we had the visit of the accreditation team. And and that was a little more um, nerve-wracking. <laughs> I was. know that for most of us, we, we were all on our P's and Q's, yes. so to speak. But the team came, our campus was prepared, ready. I want to salute once again our accreditation officer, our quality assurance officer, Dr. Pamela Dottin, Indeed. for leading that yes. and for keeping us all in the loop, mm -hmm. literally step by step as Every the open day. campus kept stepping through the accreditation yes. process. Right, and then we jumped to the month of May and there was a student games. You were there for the opening ceremony. I was, and very proud to see mm -hmm. the open campus spirit, mm -hmm. which was um, highlighted Indeed, by was. all mm -hmm. uh, who attended the games. Um, we know for the open campus student games, uh, all the games are, are a bit of a test for us yes. because we're in a dispersed environment. Mm -hmm. Our teams get together days, before, days before the actual yeah. games. So it is often difficult for us to win all the medals and the trophies. Right. But I know that we win hearts and we win a lot of, of support yes. from colleagues and even outsiders looking on. Um, we are, we're strengthening. This is yes. uh, a new area for and the Open the, Campus. Uh, Academy of Sport. Absolutely. So. And we, we are going to be going from strength to strength in the future. And June 2019 must be like one of the best June months in your life. It was the month when the accreditation report came back. Absolutely. Again, this was a moment of celebration. Yes. Um, hearing that the Open Campus, you know, in, in 10 years mm -hmm. of existence, really, mm -hmm. had its second um, accreditation. And this re-accreditation was now for the maximum period of seven, seven years. years. It is a testament to the hard work the concern for quality, mm -hmm. the commitment of the staff and our students mm -hmm. and other stakeholders that we have been able to really get over this um, reaccreditation process with such success. And in July, after months of planning, we had the cybersecurity workshop in conjunction with the Jamaica Defense Force. That was a massive collaboration. Right. And another element of the Open Campus's mm -hmm. strategy, which ties in well with the AAA strategy of alignment, mm -hmm. aligning the campus to the needs of our societies. Mm -hmm. And cybersecurity, as we all know, yes. is a major concern. Mm -hmm. um, the open campus is the appropriate campus in particular Indeed. with <laughs> with our reliance on technology, technology yes. 
to, to link with the Jamaica Defense Force in hosting the mm -hmm. cybersecurity conference. And it was a regional international conference. Yes, we yes. had international speakers. We had um, participants from several Caribbean countries, mm -hmm. the Cayman Islands, um, the Turks and Caicos yes. Islands, Belize, mm -hmm. um, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. over a hundred people. And um, you know, it really put on show how the open campus can pull the region together mm. for a, a topic, a theme that is so important to many of our countries while collaborating specifically with one body in Jamaica, the Jamaica Defense yes. Force. Right, and of course, August is the start of the semester and we had some exciting programs that we offered for the first time in August, including the BSc in sport. That's right. Uh, we were very happy that we were able to put three programs, mm -hmm. three online bachelor's programs, the BSc in sports management and leadership, in sports coaching, right. and in kinetics yes. online. And this is a major thrust of the university with mm -hmm. the formation of the Faculty of Sport oh, about they, two, yeah. three years ago. But the Open Campus is partnering with other campuses as well to ensure that these programs are available not just in the physical um, environment, right. but all across the region. And of course, our Academy of Sport, which is headed by uh, Mr. Kervin Jean, mm. has really been out there doing a lot of advocacy on the ground throughout the region. All right, and we went into September, which in tradition in the region is hurricane. And um, we had the devastation of Durian in the Bahamas, which is one of our yes. open campus territories. And the response from UWI and the open campus in particular. Mm -hmm. Every year, the open campus is faced with this. Yes. And um, as a campus, I think we have come to the realization that it's not a matter of if, mm, but when. it's a matter of when and who mm. will be this year's mm. um, you know, country Affected. that is affected most. In this case, it was um, the Bahamas in, in um, Grand Abaco as well as Grand Bahamas. And we have students on those islands, um, but thankfully we have developed within the Open Campus a response protocol. Right. So we were able to respond to first finding our students, right and then to supporting. And the UE as a whole mm -hmm. is always first in line mm -hmm. when it comes to going in for disaster um, relief, mm -hmm. as well as support for the government um, in terms of reviewing what needs to be done, emergency management of the situation. Mm -hmm. The Open Campus site played a very important role in the Vice Chancellor's Forum right. on the disaster in the Bahamas and getting the word out mm -hmm. to the wider region. Mm -hmm. So we were very proud of our, of our open campus, our other students in the Bahamas, and how everyone rallied together. Mm -hmm. And it shows how important it is that, um, to have the University of the West Indies in, in our countries because it is an invaluable part of any resilience strategy for the country. Right, and October is always a month of celebration as well. October is, is, is a month when we all, you know, we sit back and, and bask right. in the glow of all of our graduates. And this year in Antigua and Barbuda um, was particularly special to us because we had a, a couple of firsts. Mm -hmm. uh, we had our first cohort mm -hmm. of graduates from our um, EDD, our Doctorate in yes. Educational Leadership, and that it was a tremendous um, success for the campus, but mm -hmm. also for the region. Mm -hmm. This program came out of a demand that we had been um, privy to mm -hmm. from our regional ministries that we needed more persons mm -hmm. trained at that level. And I was so pleased that we had nine persons right. graduating from that program. Uh, but the heartwarming story, right. the, I think mm -hmm. the story that, that made us all um, tear up <laughs> was seeing really the work of the Open Campus and what the Open Campus um, symbolizes in our region, manifested in the, the, the simultaneous graduation yes. of a mother and a daughter, mm -hmm. both with their bachelor's degrees in yes. two different areas, but both areas that are important in terms of social development, youth work in one case mm -hmm. and social work in another case. And it, it really struck home, I think, to many yeah. people and, and certainly to the leadership and the staff of the Open Campus mm -hmm. that 
here is why we do what we do. Um, opening doors to life-changing learning mm -hmm. in a family, in a single family, we are able to do that. And, and both have actually expressed the desire to, to go do, on. To go on and yes. do their, their yeah. postgraduate with us. Yes. <laughs> yes. You also had um, an important development in Trinidad as well. We have been working um, over the last year in uh, developing a new center for the open campus in Chaguanas. And this is um, a legacy from mm. our very first principal, who, um, who was the person who negotiated uh, the support from the government of Trinidad and Tobago for land mm. and mm. funding to put up a, a new site in right. central Trinidad, which is an area of growth right. for Trinidad and Tobago in particular. And we completed the building and uh, we have now fully moved in. In October, we started the transition of, of many of our departments. But we're also opening up new opportunities for students to study at that site, site yeah. who may find it more convenient mm -hmm. than going into the St. Augustine or any of the other sites. So this is the first new site that the open campus has had in many, many, many years. So of course we're very proud of that. And November was all about World Quality Month and celebrations, and we obviously did our Yes, own. as usual, the open campus had a very innovative approach mm -hmm. to celebrating World yes. Quality. We used quite a lot of um, online testimonials yes. um, because we have to reach out to the region. Yes. So it was very difficult to think of a single physical way of celebrating quality. But I think World Quality Day, and I really salute the Office of the Board for Undergraduate Studies, mm -hmm. um, Professor Landis, for piloting this, mm -hmm. because it is important, especially now that the University of the West Indies is recognized internationally. And we should, mm -hmm. of course, point out that this year, we saw our rankings yes. rising yes. and we've moved from being in the top 5% to being in the top 4% of universities all across the world. Yes. Quality is the key and um, with the Open Campus we are extremely dedicated to ensuring that all elements of what we do benefit from close attention to quality standards. All right. Throughout the year there were a number of partnerships as well. We, we mentioned the partnership with the Jamaica Defense Force, but there were quite a, a, a number of others. The, yes, through, through collaborations right across the campus, mm -hmm. we have multiplied our partnerships, and I, I think that that is really the, the way for the open mm -hmm. campus to, to move. Um, this year, we had um, a renewed partnership with the Organization of um, American mm -hmm. States. Mm -hmm. We, uh, as you pointed out, we, we expanded our relationship with the Jamaica Defense Force, and mm -hmm. quite a lot is happening beyond just the cybersecurity um, conference that we had. We also had an in, a new, and I think a lot of people were interested in this one, yes. um, <laughs> MOU signed with the West Indies Rum and Spirits Producers Association. Yes. Um, <laughs> and and it, that is not for rum tasting. It is really to build capacity right. in an industry that is very important mm -hmm. to the economies of all of Canada. our countries. Yeah. So as usual, our strategy in, in these partnerships is to partner with organizations that um, the benefit can spread beyond. Um, we, we have a partnership with um, JAMPRO, the Jamaica Promotional right. Agency, and we've developed an innovative step-by-step -step guide to exporting, which is self-paced online. online yes. And it is a template now that other promotional agencies across the region can, can use. use. Um, we have um, also signed agreements with um, George Brown University, mm -hmm. um, the, the Jamaica Civil Service Association. Mm -hmm. we, we are spreading our wings. Right. And the, the good thing is that um, organizations are recognizing that the open campus's footprint mm -hmm. helps their work right. to be easier. And ag right. Nature. And again, mm -hmm. this is very much in line with the alignment mm -hmm. element of the AAA strategy. So 2020, it's mm -hmm. a big year for everybody. There's all sort of different celebrations going on, but I'm sure the Open Campus is also looking forward to 2020 um, with some of its own goals and objectives in mind. What are some of the things we can look forward to? Well, I, I have dubbed it um, 2020 vision, a okay. year of 2020 vision. 
And for anybody who has 2020, I used to, when I was <laughs> younger, <laughs> have 2020 vision. I think that's not so good anymore. Right. But 2020 vision means that you see things a lot clearer yeah. and also that you become more focused. Uh, the Open Campus is entering its second decade. Yeah. So interestingly, we enter a new decade. Mm -hmm. And I think that we build on lessons of the past and we have to now move the campus forward in very focused ways. Clearly, we are aligned to the university strategic plan, which goes till 2022. So we will continue to focus on the AAA strategy. How we um, materialize that strategy, how, how it is embodied, is, is what we are going to be focusing on. So um, we have a couple of challenges mm -hmm. that we have to face. One is the, the economic and financial challenge yes. that um, the, the open campus and in fact the region and all campuses face. And we do know that there has been the articulation by our vice chancellor of a 10 in 2 strategy. Mm -hmm. It means reducing our expenditure mm -hmm. over two years by 10%, but also increasing our revenue mm -hmm. by 10%. I have a similar 10 that I want to throw out and I think that in two years we certainly should have more than 10,000 students okay. in online. We already are way above that yeah. for our CPE. our CPE face to face. We are currently hovering at around 7,000 students online and I am sure that with our new programming, with our um, new focus on marketing led yeah. by you, Mr. Sam, that we will be able to really look at that as a target mm -hmm. for us. So increase access, right? that is very important for 2020. We have to also ensure that we can find new ways of generating revenue mm -hmm. through innovation, through entrepreneurship, which right. is another element of the strategy. And the Open Campus has um, always been an entrepreneurial campus. Mm -hmm. What we have to do in 2020 is to focus on the areas where we will get the most benefit out of our effort. So uh, we will be, over the next few weeks, having these conversations mm -hmm. as to what will be the focus for 2020. We want to ensure that we um, improve our, um, our services, um, our services to our students and to our staff. And of course, those are also part of our strategic plan in terms of access as well as agility and creating a motivated um, staff. So those are areas that we have to have laser-like focus on in terms of 2020 because we're now building the campus for another big mm -hmm. thing, the next big thing as you said. The campus has been the university's lead on online learning and the university is now wanting to take this globally. So one of the major pillars for the next two years as articulated by the executive management of the university is UWI Global Online. Right. So this is taking mm -hmm. UWI to the world and Open Campus is integral in that. This is where we have the expertise, taking all of the wealth of uh, programming and research to the world. And so we have to prepare for that. It's a different mindset mm -hmm. to what we have been doing. And we also have to maintain our service Standard to our too. region and to our, our community. But we also have to look at what will it take? What is the quantum leap in how we deliver our services to take us international, to really compete with all of these global entities that we see advertised on TV. And I have and no- And online. And online. <laughs> I have no doubt that the, the Open Campus has the ability to do so, to step up to that next level in the roaring 20s, as I call it. So we're going to roar in the 20s. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, Dr. Longsworth, Principal and Pro-Vice Chancellor of the UWI Open Campus for joining us today to reflect on 2019 and to look forward to 2020. I am Cleveland Sam. Until next time, goodbye.